What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today it is about 6.45 a.m. I'm at home, just woke up, and I'm about to give a lecture to my colleagues over at the hospital because they are still at work and I'll explain all of this further on down the video, but I also still have the pager. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm about to give a lecture to everybody rounding at the hospital, and I'll tell you why I'm doing all this stuff in these weird times in just a second. Oh wait, let me see. Yeah. Can you see me? Wait, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go into uh, presentation mode. I don't know if this will, can you guys see the whole thing? Yep. Sweet. All right, so today we'll be talking about peripheral arterial disease. So we'll start with femoral papateal disease and a little refresher on what critical limb ischemia is. So simple rules for a lesion crossing. You wanna use an angled catheter to kind of steer your guide wire. You need a stiff, straight hydrophilic wire, which will mostly cross many stenoses or occlusion. My first time out of the house in about four days, I'm going to go to the grocery store. This is our once a week trip, trying to limit our time leaving the house, but Andrana is coming with me. And Andrana is coming with me because she is off. And look what sweatshirt she put on to match me. Look. Matching. So now we have the same sweatshirt on to go to the store. Okay, so embarrassing. Mother. So like I said, we're trying to minimize our time outside, but since we both work in, oh wow, it's like completely empty in here. Yeah. So since we both work in healthcare, we have very minimal time and we can actually go shopping and there aren't many options to order like groceries to your house around here. So, and I'll be working the next seven days and John will be working the next seven days. So this is our one time to go to the grocery store in matching sweatshirts. And I will sanitize everything I do while I'm here. You wanna get the little one? Okay, thank you very much. So they are open. So Whole Foods is open, but they are only allowing 25 people in the store at a time, which is actually a really, really good idea. And while we wait in line, we have to have at least six feet of distance between the next person. So, good job, Whole Foods. Doing a good job. As you can see, there are only 25 people in the store right now. Social distancing at its finest. Also, I just want you to see this giant sweet potato right there. I mean, what is that? There is a ton of meat currently available. No shortage here. No, he's in here. So I'm still trying to wonder why, out of all the clothes Andrana has, she wore the same sweatshirt I have on. You have a wife or girlfriend or a significant other who does that. Let me know in the comments below. It's so embarrassing. I feel like I'm one of those people who's on like a group trip. Disney World or something that are all dressed in the same clothes. All right, I'm probably overreacting, so just disregard everything I'm saying. Also, we are supporting our good friends over at DSNY, Department of Sanitation, New York, New York's strongest, because they are also out there on the front lines taking care of everything as well. So also Whole Foods has these lines on every aisle and that's like approximately six feet how far away you're supposed to stand from people. And we only allow 25 people in here at a time, but people are getting so aggressive. Like we just heard people in the aisle yelling at each other to stand six feet apart, which I guess is pretty good, but it has opened up a new side of people I did not know previously existed. Well, I guess I did know that. And now, the most important aisle that we're going on today. We need to stock up on wine because we will be inside for the next week. My favorite. So we like the 
red blends, if you will. What was that one we liked the other day? Um, oh, we like this oh, one. this one. This one's delicious. Oh, let's get that. That's the heart one. That one? Not sponsored. <laughs> and then, where was the other one? Oh, this one's, this one's Italian. Italian. Pastimento. This is my favorite county, as you've seen in previous videos. God, I wish I could lay outside at the pool and drink rosé, but it's not that time yet. More rosé. Still super jealous. Okay, so it's not necessarily rosé season, but this, do not tell anybody about this. This is the best rosé, literally the best rosé that they make. Domaine de Chatemar, Cote de Rhone, rosé. This stuff is so good and they're always sold out of it and I'm about to buy like four bottles. All right, I don't know how this turned into my favorite wine video. This one's from Spain, Monteserio de las Venus, Reserva 14. This one's delicious as well, this one. Not sponsored, just my favorite ones. All right, so I think we did some damage at the grocery store. I mean, we just spent so much money for our week-long supply. We may make one more stop at the grocery store across the street while we're out just to get some other stuff that they didn't have here. And maybe we can find some toilet paper around here. People didn't hoard it. So us lowly healthcare workers can have some toilet paper for once. All right, so we are back home now from our only time out of the house today. And it's about time I tell you exactly what is going on and why I'm spending so much time at home right now. So as of this past Friday, the IR group or IR department has basically decided that we are going to go to a seven day on, seven day off schedule. Let me turn this on mute. We're going to a seven on, seven day off schedule. And which means basically, so we have four total fellows. I'm considered a fellow even though I'm a junior fellow or senior resident. I still take call like a fellow, so there are four of us. Two fellows will be on one week, two fellows will be on the second week. And then we have, I guess, nine or 10 attendings, and they are basically splitting up those weeks as well, five on and five off. Um, so the whole thought process behind this is that we're basically minimizing our exposure in the hospital. So we're trying to keep our department as safe as we possibly can while still providing adequate care for our patients. So the only reason we can really do this is because we have limited our outpatient procedures for one. So we've cut back on anything that's not urgent or emergent. So we've cut that back significantly, which means we can kind of cut our staff down significantly. So essentially the whole point of doing this is that if one team member gets sick and has to be quarantined and they may have interacted with other team members, we at least have this whole other section who's been off the whole seven days who can come in and cover rather than the whole department being taken out with the same sickness. So essentially it is kind of a preventive measure in place so that we can still maintain our department if someone gets sick. So I did the first seven days on, I was on call the first weekend, which was this past weekend. Now it is Friday. I've been off since Monday, so it's day five now. Um, Basically, haven't really been doing much. Filming some YouTube videos. I had to give a lecture to my colleagues after morning rounds. And every day I've been kind of following up on morning rounds as well, just to stay kind of updated with everything. But yeah, it's kind of a different world. We're doing everything from home and it seems to have worked out so far as of yet. So we'll keep it going. So next week on Monday, I'll work Monday through Friday. My co-fellow has a weekend, which means Instead of seven days off, I'll actually have nine days off. So it's actually a pretty good deal, but the problem is when I'm on that week, I take call every other day because we're just splitting it with two people instead of four. So that can be pretty draining for those five days, but I'm not complaining. It is what it is, different times right now, call for different measures, and yeah, that's all I got. So now you know what I've been doing this week. Um, I'll probably put out a few more videos because I have nothing else to do. I'm going to make Andriana star in a video because she is also off the rest of the weekend as well. And I guess we'll kind of go from here. That officially concludes this video. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. If 
you have a question, leave it in the comments below. I will try to answer as many as I can. Turn on post notifications so you are notified when I post a new video, which is usually about once or twice every week, or maybe three or four times now that I have all this time off. Otherwise, I'll see you all on the next video.